Dan here. Nova Man Speed Shop. So, where we left it last, we had pulled that behemoth out. And we're going to place it with that. Huh? 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 So this was kind of a junk big block with a Muncie uh, M20 Trans. And it was fine and all that, but it rattled me all sorts of noise. It was just not happy. This is the mill we had in that Camaro and decided that Camaro wasn't really for me. So we're going to keep the drive line. People just want you to admit that you don't like Camaros. Eh. I want other people to have them, but they're not really for me, you know? I like Tri-5 Chevys, I like Chevelles, I like full-size cars. I also, I have always hated Camaros. And I even said that when we bought them, I was like, I don't like Camaros, but I guess if you like it. <laughs> well, you know, Camaros are one of those things where I never had one. I thought, of, and I still like them, I just, it's not what I want at the end of the day. And sometimes you gotta buy it and realize you don't like it. How dare you not want that car? But that's my fault. What I should probably do is just put it in the field and let it rot. Absolutely. Anyway, on the last video we got that motor and trans out. Everything looks good here. Uh, yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah, I painted it. I cleaned it. I thought you weren't going to paint it. Yeah, I decided to paint it. So you're obviously not watching the videos, or you'd know that by now. Um, <laughs> so anyways, the paint's a little tacky. So, so we're going to go ahead and just work right over top of it, like always. That's right. Patience is something I don't have. We, don't, we should know that by now. Ultimately, I want to put the motor and transmission in here, and then we'll let it sit overnight and dry. No point letting it dry right now. No, that sounds no, stupid. No, that's, that does sound stupid. Am I right? I got a wicked blood blister on my hand too. I want to pop I it. Oh, let's pop it. Um, we'll save that for the end of the video. Um, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to take the carb plate off this thing. We'll put it on that. This thing should just slip slide in. My only concern is the shifter location. I'm hoping it'll be in the same like hole area as this car already has, but we'll find out. So I'm going to install a transmission without any of the linkage on. Uh, That's probably wise. Yeah, it's a lot easier to put the linkage on right now while well, it's out than it would be when it's in the car. But whatever, it's, there's water everywhere. It's been raining, so I think if we get it in there. That's not water, by the way. Well, it's water plus. Plus antifreeze. Thank you. But don't worry, we'll you know we'll get to it. So we can slide that motor in. It should, famous last word, should be pretty easy, and it'll look cool and it'll be motivating. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we can finish up. I got to probably modify the exhaust so it fits. Put the rad in. Do all those other little things here. I like to rewire it. All that sort of junk. So we'll get that done tomorrow, and then day after that, we get to move a differential again. Well, I am strong like bull with that differential. I can't believe you didn't think I was actually doing as much work lifting that thing up as I was. Uh, what? I didn't say you weren't doing any work. I just didn't want you to drop it on your pretty little toes. I'm strong, man. <sighs> yeah, you're butch. I'll get this all dialed together and we'll get this thing hoisted up. And we'll dump her in there. Okay. We're going to lift this one right to the moon. I think it'll just slide over and be zero problems. They can't see your uh, nod of contention. Is that the right word? Lack of I always think it'll be just fine. How fun? I mean, worst case, we crunch a fender. And then we just. It just becomes patina. Okay, it's a little sketch on the height. We need more tilt. How are we doing that? Maybe it needs. Uh, uh. Did that help us out in? I think so. I think it would have more uh, swing here. Hmm. Hmm. 
I need like a, a ratchet strap or something maybe. Do you want me to just push, like push it up? I mean, I do appreciate your strength, but I think we might need a little more than you got. There's a ratchet strap on this side of the floor. If I just uh, strap the motor up, get a little more, a little more tilt. Go from there. So we'll get this dialed and come right back. Or you want to watch this chaos? No, we might as well watch. We're all here. <laughs> We're all here. This is where I scratch the firewall. I think it's going to hit. Or is it yes. good? Is it? Good now? Yeah. So let's go ahead and go full speed down. <laughs> so this is why I hate having stuff that's shiny. You can't just kind of schmoggle it in there. Okay. So, what can I hook on to here? Do that. Okay, we go. Around to here. Nope. Damn ratchet straps. Too long. What can we grab? To do like a loop around itself or something. This is a little janky. A little, little hard on the chrome. Gonna be close. Okay. Uh huh. We don't have a whole lot more in there before it gets to be kind of difficult. This is gonna be a. This is definitely we should have waited till the paint was dry. But we can't just. We're committed now. At this point, we can't just start tomorrow. What is that? Can you, I wonder how we can put it in sideways. Can you run the, the machine slow? Let me put this down. I can't do it one What? People are waiting. Tell everybody that I was like napping right before I came out here. That's why I look like garbage. I think you look like you usually look. <laughs> As opposed to normal. Okay. Put it down slow. Left? Lefty. Yeah, okay, a little more. A little more. Keep going. Keep going. Can you can you do it just so it's less pulsy and more just kinda? Okay, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. See if we can push her in a little. I think we nailed it. Okay, let her go slowly down. Whoa. Okay, let her go again. Whoa. Our little Cattywampus, okay. Drop her down again. A little slow. Yeah. Keep going. Oh. Oh, we're hitting. Oh, we're good. Just the exhaust. Keep going. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Up. You're ruining the paint. What is this? Yeah, that's good. Got to get her slid in. Now we're just hitting stuff underneath. Don't really care about. This thing is uh, a little. 
little jostle, little jostle. Can we get this ratchet strap out or did I bugger it in there? Perfect. Man, it's almost like we put in a small block Chevrolet or two. So now, we put the... Well, it's almost like we just put this one not too long ago. Yeah, but that was in a Camaro. It's totally different than a Nova. They don't share any parts. Oh, I wanted to clean the... Yeah, whatever. We're committed at this point now. What are we going on here? So I'm just going to try and jack the transmission up a little. Everybody's least... asking why don't you have a transmission jack? Do you want to tell them where yours is that I bought you for Christmas? Okay, kitchen floor. <laughs> I, you know what? I like what I like. And what I like is to suffer. Is to suffer. Am I jamming the firewall bad or not? Oh my gosh, this thing's so tiny. Hey, you're in my, you're in my space. It's not always about size here. Okay, so this has to go over. I can't. If we can jack it up just a little, we should be able to. You got your bolt? No. I don't have any of that. Who, I can quit judging between the transmission, jack, bolts, and fluids. I'm just showing you about how much I pay attention to you. What are we caught on? Doesn't really want to go. Oh, can you let the transmission jack down just a scoach? Oh, well, I'll just do it. Slowly. Oh, this transmission's in the jack stand, by the way, or the jack. Oh, that might be the problem. I got one down. Nope, you've done nothing. We'll just wait. Do do. There you go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I see what the problem is. Yes. Okay. You know what? If you Drop that down, I'll just give her a, a heave hole. She'll just let it go slow. Well, that's not bad. Where'd we end up there on this side? This side's not at all close. Oof. Let it, you know what, just let it all the way down. Let's we'll see if we can just re-rig this deal. Okay, keep going. Okay, you push it ahead. Okay, now jack it up again. Keep going. A little more. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect, Danielle. So you can drop her down again, slow. Oop. How's that side looking like? Perfect. Drop her down. Eh, hang on. Lift it up a little. It just kind of, it almost made it. Get right there. Perfect. Now drop it. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. it looks good. So that's pretty much bang on. Uh, we'll probably put a motor mount in there if we want couple of bolts just so you feel safe and I'll just slip under there and uh, put the transmission look at all the room you have for activities man. oh yeah it's oh look at that just perfect I think you're supposed to go in this car all along well this car did have a small block in it at one point so really it's it's kind of the way she goes oh Look at that. That's like the easiest I feel like bolts have gone in for motor packs in a long time. This one's not long enough, but whatever. Poof, man. You can drop this down. 
This was a nice install. We needed a win today. Okay, whoa. Perfecto, okay. We'll put this away because we're done with this until I decide we need to put a different motor in this thing. Hopefully that will be at least two weeks. I'll slide it in there right quick. Put the transmission mount in. I think it's actually still under there. I just kind of had the bolts loose. And then we're going for ice cream. I've been saying it. I haven't been doing it. It's time for ice cream. New day. Uh, Clean the garage up a little bit. Kind of hose the car down just the back half. Didn't do a whole lot in fenders because we're still working around it. Oh, just for the people that are curious. Don't worry. I don't know why the thing's leaking oil now. Still a little. I mean, I welded that oil pad. I couldn't imagine what would leak. <laughs> anyway, uh, got this man. So I put this picture up on Facebook. Like, it's all dice, nice looking. And people are in the comments like, wiring looks like shit. And I'm like, man. Like, you just, you can't please everybody, eh? I'm thinking, we're doing one thing at a time here, guys. The fact that you even painted the inside, I feel like I you're thought not I was, even getting credit for Yeah, that. I thought I was doing pretty good. So, I think what I'm going to do today, uh, for the rest of this video, the shifter and all that looks like it'll go in and be in the right spot, so we're good there. Um, we're going to have to jack this thing up and get that all taken care of. But for right now, we'll do everything kind of else that we can do while it's on the ground. So, radiator in. We'll play with the wiring, maybe clean some of that up, hook all the gauges up. If we can fit the headers in, great. If not, we well, this one will fit. This one might be a bit of a pain. I want to take the distributor apart. I want to just lock the timing out. We'll just run 37 degrees in it and be done with it. Um, just all that little stuff. Hook up the linkages, kind of have a little bit of fun, make it look like something, and, and be done with under here, you know, 95% of the way. <clears throat> we got to do some clutch stuff, so we got to figure all that out. But really, it shouldn't be too bad. It might be a little tight in there because I did the clutch on the other car with like the whole front end, front end off, the wheel wells out, and everything. The only thing I think that might hold us back it is the long weekend. I only I think I have one. Oh, um, I need header collector gaskets. I have two sets of three and a half, and I only have one single hang on the wall of a three inch. So, we gotta see if we have some something. The old ones might still be good, I don't know where they went. Oh! Oh. Actually. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm right. I need a three inch. I'm just looking at like, there's three and a half inch collectors in this thing. I'm like, well, yeah, but the headers are three. So we gotta do a little, a little bit of cowboy work there, but maybe I can text Adam and see if he'll open the speed shop. <laughs> Holy moly. Hey, you want to tell the people what happened last night? <laughs> no, I don't want to tell them. All right, well, if they want to know, they'll ask in the comment section. Mm -hmm. We'll be back when we're working. Uh, it probably doesn't look a whole lot different because I'm just doing little things. Um, when I did this car years ago, I put all this uh, kind of plastic looming on, which I have outgrown. It's very like 90s, early 2000s. So I just taped everything I want and we'll run it across the back just like kind of factory wood. Uh, I left a little bit here just because it was fine. You didn't want the internet bullying you anymore about your wiring? Was the internet bullying me? I like saying it was That was past Dan, whatever. <laughs> uh, we got the radiator set in there where I want it, so that's good. Uh, I painted the top hold down piece so it's sitting on the Bobcat drying. We'll do that last because I will be touching it a lot, obviously. <laughs> Has that ever stopped you? It looks, it'll look good. Did we not put this whole thing in while all of this was wet? Yeah, but I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. Um, I got a uh, throttle cable, I mean, temperature, all that sort of stuff is run. Uh, I ran our, our starter wire, we put a bunch of insulation on it. I don't have any more of this space tape, so I just had some plug, you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. And the wires over there, so we'll loop it over and just snip it together. I think that's kind of about it. Just trying to make it look. I don't want to say clean and tidy, but just decent factory kind of. We have to mount the coil still, and this header actually will not fit from the top, so we will have to jack it up. So I think we'll just kind of do a few more things up top here, and then I'll lift it up. I'll show you underneath the car, so I want to do that before, and I just kind of couldn't get a good angle. Now it's daylight out. We have no rain today. Show you a little bit there. We'll get the header in and hung. Maybe do the clutch linkage. I think that's where I'm going to call it, but... What I do want to do is change the distributor 
So we had this thing and we had very minimal amount of swing. So if I hold the bottom locked out, it's just a very amount of uh, advance there, small amount. What I'm gonna do is lock this thing out completely just cause that's what I wanna do. It's a race car, right? Race cars have like 275 horsepower, 440. 436, whatever, the internet will correct me if I lie. I would never lie to the internet. So what we're gonna do, we take this out, and this kind of only fits one way, it has a square and a circle, so that's fine. We have to, how does it go? All these weights and stuff come off, I believe, I'll have to take all that off, but we have to, sp or no, we spin it? You know what, there might be some instructions I could look at too. Hang on, I'm gonna hold that. Just level on the vise. Eh, these will be the right tools. Not on the gear, come on, Danielle. Who needs a punch when you have a screwdriver with silicone on it? What are you doing? Knocking out this roll pin. the roll pin on the smashing vise or uh, thing. Take this all out, just so we know what way it goes. Leave that like that. So now, yeah, we gotta take all this junk off, I guess. Is that how this one goes? I may have confused myself, hang on. Hang on, I need a pair of pliers to the plier wall. I may be doing this dramatically out of order. But that's totally fine. I put these light springs in and a big bushing. It's the worst case we always put it back together this way, but I think it's all coming back to me. There's hair in there. Where'd that come from? My guess, your head. It's gorgeous. Okay, yes, yeah, so we'll take these weights off. Yeah, this is all coming back. So yes, it has this spin. You wanna take this out, take that off. Again, with all the right tools. Also known as whatever is right in front of me. Maybe we'll use the right tool because the internet's here. Oh, some weird size though. Yeah, it was like 11, 30 seconds. Stupid MSD. Did I get it? I did, I did get it. This is some good television right here. Okay, so we'll take all this garbage out. We're glued to our seats. Just wait till the next video when we're putting the diff in. <laughs> so the way this works, this originally was here, which allowed this to swing. So if you spin it 180 and you put it down in there, see how it goes in this hole. See it's oblong on that side, which allows for the timing advance and this side is not. So we'll put that there. You can just leave it like this, but we'll put that nut back on just cause otherwise I'll lose it. And then we'll put it back together exactly like this. And what that'll do is it'll completely lock out the distributor. So whatever you set the timing at for initial, for wide open, for everything, that's what it is. So we'll just set this thing at 37 degrees and that'll, uh, that'll be what it's like. And unless it's really hard to crank and all that stuff, then we'll take it all apart and put all this stuff we just took off back on. So there you go. I'll assemble this back and then, uh, I don't know if we should set top dead center or not just now. We'll have to. Daniel, look, see how long, so many video clips we got here. If the video's almost done or not for my <laughs> level of effort I want to put in today. I do want to get under this thing. I want to put the clutch together. So that's that's top priority of the day. I don't think the throw up bearing somehow got put in backwards, but you never know. Video games. <laughs> okay, so I got this thing kind of together. I don't know where we left it last. We got a bunch of stuff together. The underneath shifter fought me. Just a scotch. Oh, you gotta bump it over, that's what we're doing. You gotta bump it. Oh, I have to. So now we gotta find top dead center. So we got the spark plugs out, finger on the hole. Give it just a, a little shunk. Yep, 
Again, 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 again. Okay, we're coming up on so short ones. No, oh, you went too far. Do it again. That was so short. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it might be per this thing's got two lines on it. That's where we want zero. So, we're, well, you know what's good enough? We'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be close. We can adjust it with the timing light. And uh, we have a little distributor, so we got all the swing in the world. So it'll be close enough. Are you gonna tell him you put the shifter in? I put the shifter in, I told him that. Oh, I didn't know that you told him that. You weren't paying attention. It wasn't, no. Shifter's in, it uh, didn't fit the greatest. I had to use a hammer. And it's further back than the other one, but. Reverse, first, second, third, fourth. I don't know, it, it's big. That's what she said. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so, I have, I have a small boot, and this was a little giant boot, which is kind of ugly and might have got a little angry <laughs> <laughs> trying to take it apart there. So she got a little, a little wear and tear and she, <laughs> she's a little bent. Just a scotch. Gentle. It's supposed gentle. to be a ring around there, but I don't know where that is, but that'll cover up the hole. Let's do that right now. This. Well, you, you can't even tell I was angry. Oof. This shifter is like, I don't know, there's something, whatever. Where'd the ball go? It'll keep the flames out that way at least. Looks a little goofy. But, so now we put the spark plugs in. And we'll drop that distributor in, I guess. Actually, where is that distributor? Might as well do that right now. So, I'm assuming so I marked that, that's where number one is. So what we're gonna do is line the rotor up with number one. So that's gonna be number one on the cap. And should be able to just dump it in there. Oh, I've got a bunch of stuff in the way. This is where Josh was all panicked about getting the oil pump in line and all those things. I mean, you know what? Around here, good enough speed shop. She good enough. Whoa, that has power to it. At least it did, probably doesn't need more. That's what fuses are for, right? Okay. You need me to bump it till it falls in? That is pretty close. Yeah. Uh, how much are we gonna swing are we gonna have there? Oof, lots. If we pull it up though, <laughs> we'll just put it. So that'll be number one to be there. That'll give us all the, all of everything we need. So yeah, now what we're gonna do, if you, was the key still on, is that the problem? That's why there's probably oh, power yeah. there. So now, I'll just kind of hold this and give her a bump. I can't believe you're not more impressed that I remember that. This is shocking, I see it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Oh. Okay, so that's in. So now we'll just go ahead and just double check the timing. So bump it again. Oh, I turned it off. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Okay, we're coming up on it. Bump it again. Just uh, like a like a quick one, quick one, <laughs> quick one. <laughs> eh. We went too far. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Bump it. 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 Okay, one more. Quick one. Man, you are not quick with them. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Bump it. Bump it. We'll sit in the car, maybe. Well, I can't survive. Okay. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Again. You know what? We'll call that good enough. The, the line is right on the edge. 
that's zero, so that's going to be lots of advance. Okay, here, I'll do it. Nope, do that's perfect. Okay. And we're basically, look, there's the rotor and there's that lined up. So we'll, we'll be plenty close, close enough anyways. I, I appreciate that you don't show my face when I'm bumping it because I am concentrating so hard when I'm doing it. Well, at this point now, it's irrelevant. We can just uh, put that all down, snug it. We're on plug wires, but pl there's no plugs in this side. We got to do that. There's also no exhaust on this thing. But we can just, maybe we'll just let it bark to life once. We got to put water in it. We got to do the exhaust. I'm fighting out. What I think I want to do is leave the rear end that's in it, in it for right now. Um, just to see kind of how it drives. So it's got like a 308 rear gear in it which is a dog, like it will not be sporty, but if we wanted to ever like, you know, go on the highway, go to the beach, is the key off? You know what, I'll just do it right I'm here. Gonna the it keys, off. I just did it, the main, the main key is off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did turn it off. But if we ever wanted to road trip this thing or anything like that um, with the highway gear, it's, it's possible. Because again, it's the four speed, uh, fourth gear is one to one in the transmission, so we'll see what we got going on there. But, I mean, it's, it's nothing, it's no big deal to change our rear end. We can do that. And I can do it by myself. Just a quick uh, back throw out, and it's no big deal. I also wanna get new U-bolts and all that sort of stuff. So maybe we'll do it tomorrow, but I would like to maybe just drive it a little bit as is and see what it's like. I mean, we drove like this for a lot of years. It was definitely not sporty of the hole, but it's quite happy at 10, 15 mile an hour. It is, it's ready to go in first gear, so. We'll see, try it out, see how it runs, um, and go from there. But I will button up the distributor, put the plug wires on, and then really, I mean, it's got no water in it, but it should spark to life, make be loud with the exhaust, and then uh, the next one, we can exhaust, drive shaft, all those sort of things, tidy up with the hood on, drive it, break down, good thumbnails. We've got it all here, DD Speed Shop. All right, I gotta tighten that up. Okay. So, plug wires are all on. Everything's kind of root. It needs a little bit more, you know, kind of fine tuning and whatnot. We've got some miscellaneous wires, like this is this, the trigger to the fan and all that, which isn't even hooked up. I got a relay I got to put in. But, uh, I mean, that's basically what it's gonna look like. A little bit of cleaning here and there. We got to get a few clamps to kind of hold stuff uh, on the firewall. But I'm pretty happy with it, uh, I think, I think. Now, we don't have any coolant in it, like we got to run out, so we're just going to test fire it, make sure it runs, and then we got to go out because we got to get stuff for exhaust, coolant. Uh, I want to tube those back tires out real quick, stop by the shop, we'll do that because they're pretty cracked, but they look cool. Pro tracks, and they're so expensive to rebuy that we'll just tube them and hope for the best. A back tire blowout's not nearly as serious as a front tire blowout, so it's fine. Uh, underneath, I still have to, the transmission's just sitting on the cross member, so I still have to bolt that down, but it's literally two bolts in the transmission, four bolts in the cross member. Danielle? Did you show them yet how nice it is underneath? Oh, I didn't do See, that. You're gonna do right. that. Right, right, I keep doing that, I keep saying that. I think the light's still under here and everything. Ugh. So it is. So, like this, like, look at that, it's all factory, factory floorboards. Just a little bit of surface rust. But this thing was like, huh, I had brand new bushings on this thing, it's starting to crack. Um, yeah, like I can't describe just how nice this, whoa! Just hit myself in the noggin with a light bulb. I mean, look at that. Factory floor from 71. That's why I like this thing so much. Um, so I put those traction bars or uh, subframe connectors on. It's got all brand new bushings on it. There's just a little bit of rot at the front. Factory sills. I painted the bottoms black, just whatever. I thought that would be a little, you know, better for it. Um, at the back, ugh. I plated the frame just cause, but it was a nice shape. So I didn't really have a whole lot of issues. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. Look how nice this thing is. This has been sitting outside for eight years. You could use another a little coat of paint. Um, that's actually a used fuel tank. I had no money, so I got off a guy and I spent you know, hours with nuts and bolts cleaning it. Uh, you know, shaking around, all that. Man, look how mint this thing is. Well, we're good. Ugh. Are, are we still working? Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. sure. I'm glad you're still showing it. 
So yeah, this thing is cheery. Um, Listen, I'm always working. <laughs> right. So yeah, we gotta run out and get a few things, but this thing is pretty well ready to go. Um, I think we're gonna leave the rear end in, like I said. Uh, I think it'll start maybe stand a little back in case it blows it all. There's no exhaust on it. setting before we went outside so it's just bright white and motor going <laughs> so it sounds good it sounds real good <laughs> oh man you know the second you fire up a car with no headers on it I'm immediately like and I'm 17 again and I'm like we don't even need that let's just take it out tonight like this header dumps no don't do it buddy uh, I'm gonna go pillage through the other exhaust, see what I can do to make it all work. I don't know if you guys know this one is under there, but it just, the end uh, is like a little slip pipe I made, so I'll just take that off and put a new one on and bolt that in. Make sure the headers aren't touching anything, just in case they're different or, you know, too close to the fuel line or brake line. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, we're basically roadkill garage. We pull the big block out, put a small block in and make it run and drive. Take that lucky in yeah. Alex. <laughs> They're hot rod. They're hot rod garage. Oh. I would never, ever challenge Lucky to a wrench off. <laughs> Lucky would kick your butt. He, yes. <laughs> yes, he would. That guy blow my doors off. <laughs> He'd just be eating a sandwich. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> but what I lack in skills, I make up for in overtime hours. So there you go. But there you go. She runs. Um, in theory, I mean, they should spin the wheels, but we'll have to, like I said, put the transmission in, which is the four bolts there, drive shaft in, a few things. But it's getting kind of late afternoon, and we got to get a few errands done first. And just because I kind of want to work on this thing all evening. I think, well, we'll see how much I want to work. It is cruise night. I we got go. that nice new, new mad. I drove that last time. I want to drive the black car tonight. Mm -hmm. I haven't driven it in a while, so go okay. take that out, go hot rod around, and get pulled over by the police. That seems real smart. <laughs> That's the usual. But uh, this thing, next video, hood on, all those things, and we should be able to have some gears, and then maybe we'll you know, take it for a ride around the block or go for a cruise after that and decide what we want to do for body work and stuff. I'm not going to lie, you guys are going to hate what I'm thinking. That's my favorite part. But thank you so much for watching. Please comment below and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Tell a friend and... Uh, Everybody loves a Nomad. Nope, Nova. Everybody loves a Nova. We'll see you on the next one. It's not my fault. I have two Nomads and two Novas. <laughs> you sound like a real douche. It's been a good third quarter. <laughs> I'll see you on the next Look one. Look for a guy in finance. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>